uh, rescue breathing for a child. A child is anyone who is uh, uh, between the uh, age of one and eight years old. An adult is anyone who is older than eight and an infant is anyone uh, from uh, birth to one year old or can fit on your arm. So for this again we would check the scene when we came into the room to make sure it's safe. Once it's safe we come to our victim and want to check for consciousness by tapping and shouting, hey hey are you okay? If there's no response, then we ask someone to call 911. And then we want to do a head tilt. Again, for a child, the head tilt is not quite as far as the adult. Head tilt, chin lift. Look, listen, and feel for five seconds, no more than five seconds. If there's no breaths, no sign of breathing, then you'll give two breaths. If the breaths go in, then I'm going to check my pulse with the head tilted back for no more than uh, 10 seconds. If the victim has a pulse but is not breathing, I need rescue, rescue breaths. For the child, is one breath every three seconds. I'm going to breathe, one 1,000, two 1,000, inhale on the third, and breathe on the second, and then breathe on the third, like this. <laughs> 1 1000, 2 1000, inhale. 1 1000, inhale. 1 1000, inhale. 1 1000, inhale. 1 1000, inhale. I would continue this until the breath, last breath at two minutes, around two minutes. Keeping the head tilted back, I would reassess the pulse for no more than 10 seconds. If the victim still does not have a pulse, I would continue rescue breathing for the child one breath every three seconds. If they did not have a pulse, I would do CPR. I would continue any type of care until someone equally trained or higher comes and releases me or I have a um, scene becomes unsafe or is I'm too exhausted to continue.